episode is a really exciting one as I will be guiding you through how to prep your bodies to come into Trivimakrasana. This is a variation of standing splits and we often enter this pose as a variation after entering the Bird of Paradise Asana. So I hope that you find this tutorial helpful for you along your journeys. Let's come and meet on the mat, everyone. So in this particular posture, what we really need to be working on is lengthening our hamstrings. So Paschimottanasana, our seated forward fold, is going to be extremely useful to getting used to lengthening the hamstrings. I always start by dragging my chest down on top of my thighs. I keep a small bend in the knees and bring the elbows out towards the sides as I pull my chest through. And after a few breaths, maybe you then may be able to extend the legs all the way. Try and keep the idea that your chest and thighs should be laminated as one. Upavishta Konasana is one of my favorite stretches. I tend to start with my hands on the floor and then again, similar to Paschimottanasana, just start to work your way down very gradually. Maybe you lower down onto the forearms and after a few tender breaths, notice if your back starts to round because that's the thing we really want to avoid. Think about maintaining this beautiful long swan-like neck and lower down in chronological order. So first your lower belly, and then the rib cage, followed by the chest, and finally the chin and the forehead. If you're quite flexible, another beautiful variation is to wrap your two piece fingers around the big toe, and then start to lengthen forwards. So your arms are getting this nice chest stretch as well as you slowly begin to lower the whole chest down to the earth. The next pose is Skandasana. You can be at high, medium or low setting. Feel free to use your hands or place the hands down onto the floor if you need a bit of support. This posture is helpful for us because we are looking to extend our hamstrings and get a bit more length in this region of our body. Stay for a few breaths. Remember, if it's too much, come up a little higher. The bind is what makes this posture unique. And so we can also work towards practicing the bind from a seated position which is why this pose is going to be really helpful for us in lengthening our whole side body. As you spend a few breaths here and over time, you may be able to grab hold of your foot and then feel free to loop the opposite arm in front of your belly and grab hold of the hips. You may use straps as well to help you along the journey if your hand is not able to reach directly for the foot just yet. This transition is bound extended side angle where you grab hold of the fingers behind you and then you extend your front hamstring and move into bound triangle. So you're going to bend the knee and then extend the leg. Remember, if you find difficulty reaching your fingers from behind, use a strap. So remember, it's not a wedgie bind. Your hands are directly behind your back rather than the glutes. This next pose is useful for opening up our hip region. It's the arches pose. So think about yourself pulling a bow, just about to shoot the arrow. Keep your spine upright and just wiggle the hamstring backwards and forwards. Seated compass or sundial pose is a very useful asana we can practice in order to help us achieve the side body stretch and bind. If we think about it, looking at our body position here, what the only element that we are excluding is balance because we're not standing on one leg. Everything else is exactly the same. The way your hand reaches across for the foot and the way the opposite arm blocks the thigh, 
This is exactly the same sort of body position that you want to come into. If it's hamstrings that we are struggling with and we're feeling a little bit tight in this region, then our forward splits is going to be really helpful for us to achieving some length in this area. I like to use blocks to support me and I pulse up and down. Sometimes I also place a block underneath my front thigh to help me out a little bit. And then if you're feeling quite good, you can remove the blocks and just settle into the posture. Remember to keep an eye on your back knee, make sure it's not coming out at an angle. And just stay for a few breaths in splits position. Once your hamstrings and your side body is feeling open, one way that I like to practice this posture, if I'm just purely working on flexibility and getting used to the rotation of my shoulder and my arm, I do this lying down. Sometimes I bend my extended leg, or if it feels good, I keep the front leg totally extended. In this way, you're essentially coming into the posture except from a supine position, lying down on your back. Extended hand to big toe pose, or if you cannot reach your toe, you can grab hold of the knee, is a really wonderful way to open up through your hips and promote external rotation whilst maintaining some balance. Try and practice your ballet pose. In Dharma Yoga, we call this pose ballet pose, I think because it reminds us of a ballerina. So your hand grabs hold of the heel of the foot. You can bend the knee and slowly begin to extend however feels comfortable. When you feel ready, the next step would be to use your right hand to hold the edge of the foot. Your left hand grabs the heel of the left foot and then start to extend all the way. You should feel this beautiful, wonderful stretch in your hamstrings and the side body. When you feel ready, release the left hand and grab hold of the glutes. I'll demonstrate entering the pose again from a different angle. So your left hand holds the heel and your right hand holds the edge of the foot. Start to rotate, open up through the hips and extend the leg upwards. When you feel balanced, then you straighten up the right leg. Reach your left arm through and grab hold of the glutes. Such a beautiful stretch. Remember, take your time when you exit the pose and enjoy the journey of learning, everyone. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. We hope that you found it helpful. Remember that the pose that we were looking at today is a very challenging and advanced posture. So if it's not happening for you today, don't worry about it. Just enjoy the journey. It's all about learning and practicing. So drop me a note if you have any questions in the comment section below. And do subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly yoga classes delivered directly to your inbox. In the meantime, keep a happy mind and a happy heart. Namaste.